Plinko was wonderful today. Plinko is the best prices right game. It is. I do like Plinko. What's your favorite prices right game? Plinko. And Plinko's the best. Absolutely. I mean, look, look at it. It's just the best. Oh, God. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh! Howdy, folks. Welcome on back to You, Me, and the TV. Or is this... Could this be You, Me, and the Movies, too? It's my kid. <laughs> he looks so silly. Just a little dangly, dangly dong. Sorry, I've been playing lots of Pal World and talking on voice comms. <laughs> Jeez. But yeah, guess what? We're watching a TV show based on a movie. Sweet. Ted. Nice. And That's it's a laugh worthy. It's a prequel. It's about Ted and John when they're in junior high slash high school. So we're going to get the buddy song. Thunder buddy song? Thunder buddy song, yeah. yeah. Okay. And you know, we're watching this because Ted came out. It's the number one show on Peacock. It broke all the peacock records. Ted is hilarious. And then we noticed in our analytics that all of a sudden we got Ted a bump. One and two reactions are <laughs> yeah, like we got a bump. two of our top watch watch videos well, last two weeks. They're hilarious and yeah. yeah. So I get to laugh a lot. So hopefully you this guys is are interested in Ted word. and so are we. So we're gonna watch it. Absolutely. Yeah. So what are you hoping to learn about Ted and John's past? I honestly don't care. What I learned, I just am hoping for some chuckles. So what I hear about this is nostalgia of 90s kids. Because it's going to be... I'm a 90s kid. It's taking place in the 90s, right? I grew up in the 90s. There you go. You might be familiar with a lot of the things that we witnessed. You grew in up in the 90s, yeah. too. I did. All your formidable years. All my form. I mean, this is basically my life, this show. Can't wait to me watch it. Me and Sugar Bear. Just I, they, I fucking can't wait to see how, the name how to your tell. life started. Well, should we jump in and see how it all began with me? <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. But first, a like, comment, subscribe, coming out with us for Ted. Ted! And check out our Patreon link down below for early access to our videos. Welcome to comment, access to polls, helps for watch next. Links down there. Check it out. Let's watch Ted, the series. Here we go. I also love TV. In 1985, little John Bennett wished on a shooting star that his teddy bear would come to life. Magically, it happened. Ted was an instant worldwide phenomenon. But now it's 1993. 1993. Okay, so I was like... Four. 1993. It's one of the best years. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Now, Jurassic Park was 90. 92. Little Nora Jones. I'm happy I'm yours. Which makes sense, I guess, because she yeah, was in the first. She was in the movie. Ted totally banged her. Yeah, that's right. Framingham, Massachusetts, 1993. Fuck, it's not working. Yeah, let me try something. You gotta blow in it. That's what I'm doing. Uh, duh. No, no, you gotta like really blow in it here. Everyone knows. Wow, you were gonna make some guy very happy one day. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually you're not supposed to do that. A conversation Everyone did it, of your though. breath actually. Did you car keys? Uh yeah, they were on the floor. Dad stepped on them and got mad. What do you do with them? I think he threw them. <laughs> Sounds like my dad. <laughs> well, wicked we legit have that chair that in pink. It, is... it was in the kids' nursery. It's a lazy boy. You don't say midget, you say little people. Midget is rude. Why is it rude? I mean, how would you like it if you were a little person and someone called you that? Yeah, you know what? I am a midget, and I will thank you not to tell our community how to use our <laughs> word. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with Ted. Like, little people sounds condescending. You're kinda, a little person. Kind of does. Right? I just call them midgets. No, dwarfs. Dwarfism. Munchkins? Dwarfism is Munchkins. The, whatever. No, just say shit. Shoot. Just give us the finger. There's your finger. Say Polak. Ted, really? It's not a race. You can say it. Yeah, it's just a bunch of guys. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're not wearing pants. Where'd you get this? Now, don't you worry about where I'm keeping stuff. <laughs> <laughs> where does he... Where? Who hit it? I didn't see. But I was packed outside the Hong Kong buffet, so... <laughs> 
do the math. I'm sorry. What? I'm just saying. Wow, that is such complete. <laughs> We're at dinner. Yeah, it's a bullshit stereotype. Tell that to my car. <laughs> <laughs> Ted has used two derogatory terms this afternoon, and then there you go, topping it off with that ignorant comment. I said midget. What was the other one? Yeah, I don't know. I think she was counting Pollock as the other one. Pollock? No, couldn't be that. That one's fine. <laughs> I think they're Rekka. I don't remember them having a sister. Yeah. I'm not a racist. My favorite movie is Rocky. How the fuck does that make you not racist? Uh, Apollo Creed is in the movie. So? <laughs> so he's a black guy who wins against a white guy. Oh, my God. Man, it's assuming you count Italians as whites, which I mostly do. <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't so much they got more white, the Cubans got more black, but I was okay with that, too. <laughs> this, this is like South Park yeah. in terms of... You used to cut the hair off your Barbies? Yes. You used to cut the black Barbie's hair off first to see how it looked. Oh, come on. Are you serious and with this? If you liked it, then you cut the white Barbie's hair. <laughs> Are you guys for fucking real right now? I mean, that is some sick Nazi doctor shit right there. <laughs> Did you cut the black Barbie's hair first? <laughs> what, what, what was the black Barbie's name? I don't remember. Oh, oh my god, she gets even remember worse. The black Barbie's name. But I still love both Barbies equally. And separately? Yeah, yeah. What was the water fountain situation like <laughs> at the dream house? <laughs> oh, did you call it the I have a dream house? <laughs> He's never had a day of education in his life, and it shows using words like Pollock. Oh, it was Pollock. <laughs> she just used the word. Why not? Because, TV. Aunt Suze, help me out. Well, oh, Aunt Oh, Suze. she's a cousin. Cop out. Look, I guard the house when you guys are out. <laughs> you do not. Yeah, I do. How? If somebody broke in, what would you do? I would tell them all the good stuff's in the backyard, and then I'd lock the door behind them. Brilliant. Oh, Plinko was wonderful today. Plinko is the best prices right game. It is. I do like Plinko. What's your favorite Price is Right game? Plinko. And Plinko's the best. Absolutely. I mean, look, look at it. It's just the best. Oh, God. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh! Big winner. Oh, I want to tell somebody. No, it's okay. It's all right. This will be my moment. And those are the best days when you're call, you got, you're calling sick from school and you just stay home and watch Price is Right. Honestly, what's that fun, couch what's fun, what's fun, is what's too fun. nice to be a oh, 90s couch. Can... Yeah, it looks kind of modern. But maybe it's not. I would be jealous if our 90s couch looked like that. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Talk about the right to bear arms. Oh, boy. Oh, I know what to do with this. So a slip and slide? Yes. <laughs> oh, Jesus. What are you shooting at? Nothing. Are you sure? Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ah. oh, no. Well, no more press is right. Oh, he's going to school now. After the car just got wrecked, too. Yeah. The TV's wrecked. Oh, I accidentally shot it. You shot it? Yeah, and I felt really bad about it. And then I was like, hey, Ted, it was an accident. It's bad enough that it happened. You feeling bad's not going to fix it. <laughs> you're going to school. Wait, hang on. That is a serious overreaction. Oh, you're going to school, and you're going to grow a fucking brain. Oh, come on. I think brains are sexy. Shut up, beef. <laughs> He's always been into strippers or prostitutes, huh? Guess so. Well, you you don't do that when I'm in a room, right? No. Not not usually. I mean, if you're asleep. <laughs> oh shit! That's why I had the Spanish galleon dream. What? I had a dream the other night that I was rowing on a Spanish slave ship, and the guy on the drums was pounding faster and faster. <laughs> <laughs> And when I came ashore, there you were, jerking off. 
<laughs> yep. Is he the kid from Modern Family? Him? Yeah. I can't remember. The little son? Yeah, the one that was, um, had, like, Asperger's or? No, he's from Parenthood. Oh, Parenthood. That's the one, uh, that's the show that I meant, not Modern Family. Parenthood. I liked him, too. Wait, wait, what do you mean they got him? He used to share his Dunkaroos. Good guy. Dunkaroos. Those are back now. Wait, you're gonna try and get kicked out? That it's polo screams way. 90s, We're though, doesn't it? Shocks. Cod shocks. Jesus. What's her name? Sheila. What? No. Yep. Sheila? Uh-huh. What the fuck kind of malevolent god would do that? Yeah, it's like a parents knew she was gonna be hot. Isn't that who Ted to marries? Isn't, she, isn't he marry Sheila? Can't remember. Sounds familiar. No, he marries Tammy Lynn. Mm. Ted. Yes? Can you complete this verse? She walks in beauty like the night of cloudless climes and starry skies and all that's best of dark and bright. Your wife is fucking other guys. <laughs> it rhymed. Because my wife and I are having problems. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> now and develop some nice hard calluses over your feelings. My daughter's having a pregnancy scare. Anyone want to talk about that? Well, we're gonna talk about it. Her last period was five weeks ago. <laughs> oh, shit. I know this because I'm the only one in the house who buys tampons. <laughs> so what are you going to do? Are you going to get kicked out? Start a food fight? That's what's coming. I'm the king of the weenies! <laughs> king of the weenies. I was principal at Dorchester High. Oh, shit. Wait, isn't their mascot just a, a guy with a knife? Someday she's going to be the first lady of the United States. Oh, yeah? It's Shirley Palmer. Oh, yeah, 24. that's where I recognize her. You're going to be an example. I'm not going to suspend you or anything else. If you want to act up again, just know if you do, it's not going to change your situation. Oh, man. Are you sure I'm the right guy? There's a fat kid who likes to touch dicks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is a good reverse psychology way of dealing with trouble kids, right? Like, we're not going to do anything if you keep doing stuff. Because we know you're just doing stuff to try to get kicked out. Well, fuck, let's go talk to her. You fucking kidding me? I'm not going to talk to Sheila Borgwatt. Borgwatt, fucking God, it just keeps getting worse. <laughs> Fucker. I will tell her you watch Full House so you can jerk off to Laurie Laughlin, but that you can't always predict how long the scene is, so half the time you ejaculate to an establishing shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, fuck. A tasteful duplex. Or worse, Dave Cuyet. <laughs> right? <laughs> Cut it out. I yeah. love you. Oh, hi there. Ooh. You just, uh, wash your hands? Uh, yeah, I just, when I, you know, a, a while ago, not now, <laughs> I had diarrhea. No, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Sheila. Oh, let's not ruin things. Hey, listen. <laughs> it wasn't much diarrhea. <laughs> Stop about talking it. about it. School kid pot, but talking teddy bears are all good, right? We all take drugs. The fucking Care Bears are all meth addicts, Paddington's on Quaaludes, and Fozzie's a cokehead. You know, he was in the room when John Belushi died. <laughs> and, and might I say, you are a very beautiful woman, Shelly. Sheila. Oh, God, I know. What's wrong with Sheila? Ted's not a fan of the name. Mm. Must hate names that ended with law. Could be. I mean, they're kind of lame. Mm-hmm. Will you relax? I'll be fine. I'll see you in a few. I feel like a lot of this was filmed on the uh, Universal back lot. Yeah. That last scene where she looked like it was filmed at the courthouse back future. Mm hmm It did look familiar. Hi, I'm here for the wheat. 
Oh. It's hard enough to pay for school. I can't afford to hire rent too. Wait, Maddie charges you rent? Not as much as I pay for an apartment, but still, 200 bucks a month. And Frank wouldn't be caught dead in that place. I'm allowed to make that joke. Johnny and I donate to Jew causes. Okay. <laughs> He hasn't done that yet. I swear to God, when have I ever lied to you? Like 10 seconds ago when you said you were on coke? Well, yeah, but since then I've given it to you straight. <laughs> and it's either drugs or the church. You know what they do to guys my size? Oh, please don't make me suck a deacon's dick. He got that much with how much? Clive's right. I'm a fucking loser. I mean, you're like my only real friend. And Nothing wrong with being a loser, though. Yeah, today's the day you told a girl you had diarrhea. Don't put too much weight on today. <laughs> <laughs> that is an awesome Flash Gordon poster. He also has a poster of Lori Laughlin. <laughs> Sorry about what I said today. Not that your deacons aren't attractive, but I'm saving my mouth for marriage. Amen. Amen. Hey. <laughs> Jolt Cole again. Boy, he kind of knows what he's oh, no, doing. It's slice. It's not Jolt. It's slice. For his first time, he seems to know what he's doing pretty well. They watch enough TV. TV in the 90s didn't have pot smoking in it. Oh, there's plenty of pot smoking movies in the 90s. I don't think so. <laughs> I do that when I'm home by myself. Feel it. Oh. I can feel your love in this, man. I'm so happy. You, <laughs> you have found your haircut. But you think so? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And you could <laughs> ride this to 70 and you'd be fine. <laughs> well, uh... Typical should bring in a picture of you. Stop it. <laughs> Is there a fucking gas leak or something? <laughs> <laughs> They're really happy highs. Oh, well... Um... And look at the intricate carvings. Yeah. Yeah, is that some Illuminati shit? <laughs> hey, what a great conversation. <laughs> Hi, Blair. You guys are stoned. Look, Blair, Blair, it's a little more complicated. No, you than... fucking swore it was just for you. All right, okay. I think if we all just take a couple of deep breaths here and just try to. Okay, well, why don't you come on down here and we can discuss the situation? No, because you're going to come at me. Uh, no. no. <laughs> Let's go. For God's sake, you've been listening to the news? Eisenhower says we all got to stay inside. Oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> do you realize I am now responsible for introducing drugs to my underage cousin? I could be a really deep shit here. Boy, it must be cool being this tall all the time. <laughs> Big deal. I've been in dryers. I'll put you in a Maddie load. Okay, fuck. I'll do it. I'll do it. Put him in the what load? A Maddie load. Your uncle's. A what? load of his uncle. The, the uncle's oh. load. What's the last movie you saw? Uh, Alive. Which one's that? Oh, it's the one where uh, the rugby team crashes in the Andes in the 70s and they ran out of food so they had to eat. Spoilers. Each other. You're kidding. No. Never seen it. You've known the story of all that. No, okay. <laughs> Plus, it's all dudes, so it's even worse. Yeah, what? It's all dudes. You know, you're eating guys. It's like double gross. Well, I mean, I mean... So, if you were on a plane that crashed, and Tom Hanks and Diane Keaton were on it too, and they died and you survived, who would you eat first? This is easy. Diane Lane. She's absolutely a dish. Good one. Move on to Tom. Yeah, see, I think it's weird that you have an opinion one way or the other. I think I'd start with Tom. Why? There's Tom could way find more a protein. friend for you, like Wilson. There's way more protein. If he's dead, mm. there's way more protein in a man than there is in a woman. Yeah. That's why you save him for later. When you really need it. Truth. Yeah, I'm a bad seed. See, look. I 
love you. Drugs. I love drugs. I'm sorry, boy. <laughs> well, then, if Clive has it, he's the one in trouble. No, no, it's not his weed. He was just holding it for me. Okay. We're done here. All right. It's okay. This motherfucking bear's got a backup plan. <laughs> Clive's gonna get in trouble. <laughs> She'll shove me in the dryer with Maddie's clothes. Well, how bad could that be? Maddie changed his pants during dinner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did he shart? It happens. <laughs> Just cans of tuna. How sad. She must have a cat. What? A drawer of just cans of tuna? Mm -hmm. Fuck, shit. Let's go in here. It sounds like her mom. The yeah. Mom. Oh, thank you so much. The CVS only had the men's raises, and I think those are only oh. for faces. I think those are only for faces. Fuck! <laughs> 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 what the fuck? Oh, oh it burned! Why the fuck do you have mace? Why the fuck are you in my closet? What do you protect your tuna collection <laughs> with that? <laughs> 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 this is my fault. Oh no. I never should have let Johnny try it. I have failed in my role as a, a, a sort of Jiminy Cricket figure. <laughs> Anyways, it's a gateway drug! They talk about it on the news! Well, what are we supposed to do? Start with heroin? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what if he skipped the gateway drug? McDonald's? It's 15k a year, Maddie. I'd have to sell myself at McDonald's. Oh, you could call it filet of flesh. Is that something? <laughs> <laughs> Working, maybe. The goodness of your hearts and a monthly rent check. A quarter to pound her. I, I, I... <laughs> a quarter to pound her. <laughs> Christy, that was the Black Barbie's name. <laughs> it took her that long to remember it. <laughs> Oh, shit. They couldn't have just, like, uh, hid the pot a little bit better. So just holding it, like, put it in your fucking pocket, kid. $15,000 for tuition. Can you imagine? Oh, it's like 50 now. Yeah. It's crazy. And the education quality is less. For sure. My mom's a psycho lunatic and my brother's in prison. Jesus. What about your dog? Dead. Fuck. <laughs> God, Lori Laughlin's fucking gorgeous. That woman can do no wrong. She is beautiful. I always wanted a brother or a sister, and there she was. Look at that chest hair. All along. 16. Yeah. Bunch of chest hair. Do you have chest hair at 16? A little bit. It's like three uh, No, not at 16. Maybe at 18. We are going to open the box. Open the box? Save it, safety deposit box? Did you know that textile polymers are so thin nowadays that someone could be wearing an adult diaper and no one would even know it? I, I didn't know that, no. It's amazing. A person, anyone, could be talking to you and relieving themselves at the same time. And you'd never even know it. Okay. <laughs> Are you wearing a diaper? No, don't make this weird. Okay. I'm just saying. <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> is this product placement? What limits? We're preparing for an acting role? <laughs> he totally just peed himself. Deep down, I was saving it for a day like this. When the chips were down and all hope seemed lost. What, what is it? I need you to open box 1080. There's a pair of jeans in there. What? Just do it. Shit himself. Whoops. Shouldn't have trusted he the diapers. Wearing, oops, I grabbed my pants. It holds 15 gallons. <laughs> Back when I was in Hollywood, I almost made a movie with Sly Stallone. Something from Rocky. It was going to be about this astronaut cop and this wisecracking bear, and they got to go to space to save Christmas. But then the Challenger exploded, so they had to scrap the project. Anyway, Stallone felt really bad about it, so he gave me this. 
What is it? I don't know. His mouth guard. What is? <laughs> what? Hey, why don't you put it on? Ew, the mouth guard. Somebody else's mouth guard. Who? Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Rocky would never have given up on his brother's wife's daughter, and neither should you. No. What do you say? Brother's wife's daughter? <laughs> Not his brother's daughter? I'm gonna sleep in it. Good bite guard, too, I guess. Yeah. Probably helps him from snoring. I don't want to sound crazy, but I honestly think Paramount blew up the space shuttle so they wouldn't have to make that movie. <laughs> I think of my dad drunk on his ratty couch watching Flash Gordon or some shit, but that's not gonna be you. Oh, it's totally gonna be them, huh? You're gonna be somebody. Thanks, Blay. Eventually he is. Now they're, pro they're professionals. All right. So Ian McKellen did the opening narration, wasn't it? Oh. Uh, Patrick Picard. Stewart? Yeah, Patrick Stewart. Wasn't it Patrick Stewart in the original movies? I don't remember. So they got Magneto to do it instead of Professor X? It's kind of weird. Spread it around, you know? Yeah, okay. That was a good first episode. Yeah, it was. It's funny. Yeah. I mean, super inappropriate, which is why it's so funny. Yeah, right? it's like Ted style comedy, right? Yeah. No, doesn't pull any punches. No, I love it. Yeah. Just like Rocky. Yep, loved it. Just like Rocky. Do you think that was really Rocky's mouthpiece? I have to no. watch it again. I don't think he had it. Like a skin toned. Mm. Was it? Huh. White, nude, whatever. It's weird. Doesn't look like a color of a mouthpiece. It's, I, I mean, it's obviously not expect. Rocky's mouthpiece. He said it was. Whatever. The one on Planet Hollywood's a fake. Okay. All right. Well, all right. Well, Ted, we got a little backstory. This was them experimenting. Start of the pot situation. Yeah. And now, look at him. Now look at him. Yeah. All right. What was the funniest moment in this episode for you? I. I liked it when they were trying to get mom to swear. I swear the, the whole dinner conversation <laughs> pretty was pretty funny. funny. Yeah. So, yeah. I think that was the best part of the show. Mm -hmm. Or the, you know, talking about Plinko. Yeah. Yeah. I love Plinko. Who doesn't? What's your favorite Price, Price is right, right show or game? Plinko's fun. Mm -hmm. I also like the one where you're trying to keep the guy from going off the cliff. Yeah. The Price, whatever that one's called. Don't know. Mountain climber or something yeah, like that. Like that. That's a good one too. Well, should we watch the next episode? Yes, please. Let's watch some more Ted. Let's do it. I'm happy I'm yours. Ted. That's totally the clock tower. Yep. Absolutely. The jerky boys are like the greatest living comedy geniuses. I know. It's <laughs> like the telephone was just sitting there for a hundred years, and it took these two guys to, to figure, figure out, out what, what it was, it was for. for. See, yes. yeah, you want. <laughs> contract but Johnny you gotta hold it it's not safe to hold your pee just think about baseball that's not how it works Th think about your dad coming out of the bedroom naked on a weekend what the fuck with his hog hanging out of his robe waving like a oh that's, that's for erections not holding your pee right I mean maybe it works the same way I don't know it doesn't it doesn't <laughs> I just want you to know you take all the time you need to I won't judge Oh, here we go. Thank you. That is all the thanks I need. That was weird. Jesus? What? What? Oh shit, he's here. Wrap it up. Is that how it works? Hey, look who's here. It's Bennett. Don't just pee on him. I can satisfy him in a way you never could. Ooh, oh. Ooh. 
pee much? <laughs> Why don't you go ask your mother's face? Oh, Jesus. I am so sorry. That, that was so... It was out of my mouth before I knew what it was. <laughs> kind of like your mother. Oh, my God. What is wrong with the time? <laughs> Drink up, asshole. Oh, shit. Wait, no, not the toilet. <laughs> I'm not supposed to get wet. It said so on my tail. <laughs> oh, it's swirly. Yeah, the joke's on us, Johnny. Pipes don't go anywhere. The kids are just flushing them back and forth all day. Ew. Ew. <laughs> What? Where's the poop go? <laughs> the A team. It seems more like an '80s show oh, than a rerun. night. Uh oh, Jeez. Nick at night. And this show is very educational. We're learning about the struggles of Vietnam veterans and and the alphabet. They're the A team. Some of them Hebrews are just in it for the money. That is beyond fucking offensive. Sorry, Hebrews and Shebrews. <laughs> You're afraid of a procedure Ansu's got done without even telling you. I don't remember picking you up. I walked home. <laughs> Couldn't feel my legs anyway, so it didn't matter if my pumps got slushy. <laughs> Are you saying Clive is a bastard child? His mother's so sweet. We have been blessed with information we can weaponize. What would the jerky boys do? All right, found it. Five, five, five. <laughs> They're gonna prank call. Son? <laughs> this is so totally fucking your dad. <sighs> and and wear a sailor suit. A sailor suit? Yeah, I, I spent some time in the Navy, so it's sentimental for me. You know, I, I fought in the war. Oh. Which one? You got that right, my friend. I, I don't like talking about it, though, especially... <laughs> Which one? Oh, yeah, and say ahoy to people when you get there. Okay. Dad, I can't wait to meet you. Yeah, get those hopes sky high. Where do you get a sailor suit? With two ad executives on a business trip from Hartford looking for some local talent. Right. No, no one's going to recognize Ted. Never. Yeah, my wife's miles away. Even when we're in the same room, you know, she hasn't let me touch her since the miscarriage. Took it to a dark place. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, forgive me for trying to add a little gravity into the backstory, all right? I mean, why are we gravity? traveling to I want to slip also, my you wrist. Be... <laughs> Do you want sprinkles? We picked out a name. The room was painted. Calm down. No, no, that's what everyone says. I get to grieve. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, uh, maybe don't talk to the waitress while I'm gone. Just fucking go. Where's he going? Oh. One of your customers, dumb looking guy dressed like an idiot. Sir, this oh. is Friendly's. Can you be more specific? <laughs> <laughs> he's not coming because you're a disappointment to him, and he's glad he left, and he likes his adopted Korean kids better. <laughs> Took it a little too far. I hope he doesn't like throw himself off a building. You know, I still feel really shitty about yesterday. Yeah, you should. Clive tried to kill himself. Mm -hmm. Holy shit! He ate an entire bottle of Flintstones vitamins. Even the Bettys. Did he? <laughs> I, thought always, I thought Betty always tasted the best. The purple ones. Ace of base. I love Ace of base. We got a boy's hat in our hands here. I want to make sure I got my wits about me. Well, that's going to make it better. You said you liked your adopted Korean kids better. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, you know, I, I don't I don't have them anymore. You don't? But it was costing me a shitload, so I had to, to release them back into the wild. <laughs> Me and these other crack commandos fight injustice from 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 our van. That's so cool. If people have a problem and if no one else can help, and if you can find us, maybe you can hire me and my friends. The A team. Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. I feel really good right now. Oh, I feel so good. What good people? Yeah, if he kills himself now, it's from other stuff. <laughs> oh god. <Jeez. laughs> 
sitting in a tray of water. Yeah, I don't know why they do that. Yeah, every time it's burger day, there they are, just sitting in water. I don't know, seems normal. <laughs> Have the guys over, water up some burgers, watch the game. <laughs> I think that's his test. Wait, don't look, don't look, don't look now. What does it say? I don't know, there's a grate on the front, but I can't see it. I'm just, I'm just walking around, you know how I be. Yeah? <laughs> Eat a dick, asshole. <laughs> C plus. <gasps> he passed. He passed. Oh my god, I knew. <laughs> A little genius. Mm. That's weird. You get cancer. You don't have to pay taxes. I don't think that's true. Not if liberals have their way. All I'm saying is get your cancer now. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why won't you get the colonoscopy? You just want someone putting stuff on, up his butt. I don't want to say stuff. Jesus, there's things you're not saying. <laughs> Why? What happened in Vienna? La 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 la! Like that. You got it? Mm -mm. No, you don't. Let's practice. <laughs> I'll get the colonoscopy. You will? Oh, thank God! <laughs> I mean, I'm kind of with him. Colonoscopy seems kind of scary. Why? It's putting stuff up your butt. You don't have to do it to yourself. The That's doctor, even weirder. The doctor does it for you. It's even weirder. If anything is going up my butt, I want to put it there. No. I just wish I could meet you just once. I know, me too. But it's an important mission. Man, I feel really bad letting him down again. Yeah, we gotta make it up to him. You know what? His dad needs to send him a really great birthday gift. <laughs> I don't think you're gonna buy him a birthday present. Oh, oh man. I, I just look, it's his 17th birthday. He'll be an adult soon. We don't have many of these left. <laughs> and frankly, I feel like it's shitty of you to always dump that on me. You know what? None of this shit matters anyway because we only got 20 bucks. <laughs> this is so fucking stupid. Why don't I just wear the coat myself? Extra height, Johnny. When you're tall, people assume you're in charge. Hey, why don't you go ahead and take the rest of the day off? Wow. Thank you, tall supervisor. See? <laughs> you gotta warn me. Okay, it's good. Let's go. We're good for a minute. My head hurts. Oh, this is gonna be a problem. Go sideways. Go sideways. Oh no. Uh, they were trying to steal a stick of Genesis. Bad. Bad. The John Rubenstein was in the audience. Oh, oh my wow. god. <laughs> I really enjoyed the show. You were all wonderful. And I was like, oh my God, what a moment. <laughs> amazing. I mean, it's amazing. Whoa, just even here. I mean, I wasn't here just hearing you yeah, talk chills, about it. Right? You get him to be Clive's dad? Maybe. Was that a moment just then we had? Wait, that was a moment. That yeah, was a real moment. I, I, I couldn't human even hear you. Someone was playing the original cast, cast recording of Pippin. Oh, a rope connected us so that only we saw the rope. All three of yeah. us, right? All three of us. We are one. We were, were one organism. They're taking this one a little too far. <laughs> thousand wows yeah. and more wows on top of that. I yeah. feel like this Thank was... They're trying to butter him up so they get to I say understand yes. what they're doing was just taking too long. Lunatics. Raising Clive is not our responsibility. We gotta tell him the truth. Oh boy. Yeah, uh, listen, this is my niece. She's going to be with me in the room there. Oh, I'm afraid that's not allowed. <laughs> yes. I love watching. <laughs> this seems a little weird. What? Hide under the gurney. I am not doing that. Blair, you got to be in the room in case I talk. Maddie, these people don't care about your stupid goddamn secret, okay? Thanks. I don't trust them. You don't become a butt doctor unless you're into some really weird shit. <laughs> You have lost your fucking mind. Well, if I want to be under a gurney during a colonoscopy, it's like in the firing zone. Absolutely. Uh, Larry, let's see what he's working with here. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh my god! Dad, look at that! <laughs> Hair on the tip. That's a new one. Yeah, his poor wife, huh? I was just thinking that! Guys, I gotta be honest. This is sexual for me. <laughs> Your dad uh, invited us to your birthday party. 
It's a surprise. Yeah. Oh, no, I spoiled it. Oh. I knew it. I knew he'd show up. Oh, and it's probably going to be huge if even you two losers are invited. <laughs> Fucking who? I don't know. We find an actor or something. Ah, shit. Bert. Good call. Rent to dad. This was war. For Christ's sake, Maddie, we're your family. Just fucking tell us. I jacked off a dog! What the fuck? Ew. Oh my god. You guys said you'd understand. That was before we knew how fucked up it was. <laughs> You've never been to war. Things happen. <laughs> <laughs> Whose dog was it? Whose dog was it? <laughs> Does that matter? What is it for? In artificial insemination? Scout had an erection. Well, you were very handsome back then. Just... <laughs> it was obviously stuck. Now, now that can be dangerous for a dog. Especially in the jungle. It, it gets infected. Now, he could have died. We didn't have a medic with us. And I had to do something. Okay, this... Ease it back in. But it popped out. He made a noise like a bark, but happier. <laughs> <laughs> Donnie and I didn't make eye contact for the rest of the war. <laughs> He's better than the doctor. It wasn't sexual for him. Right, no, it was just out of, like, a... He was really trying to save that dog. He's no, worried for his life. In his platoon, but, you know... You soldiers gave so much. <laughs> Great job, Dad. You did it there, so we didn't have to do it here. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy's been living with that since he got back. God bless our troops. Oh, man. 20 years later, he's still <laughs> holding on to that. Darn it. No, 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 not me. The character. Where was the character? It'll affect how I play the scene. He was at home, grieving over his wife's miscarriage. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like that. You're good. You should get into the business. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? What? We'll get one like this, and then we'll try it your way, all right? Get one like this? <laughs> Why? Mom. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Fuck, 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 fuck. Mom, look. Dad's here. Abort, abort. Get the fuck out of there. What are you talking about? That's not your dad. John Rubenstein would never stand for this. And neither will I. <laughs> oh, fucking cockfuck. Is this some kind of fucking joke? Oh, shit. Look, I'm sorry we lied and said we were your dad. And didn't it feel good? Didn't you feel good about yourself? Yeah, I, I did. You've really turned things around. Your grades are better. You're smiling more. I am. All the guys in Woodshop are saying so. <laughs> Absolutely. We are not going anywhere. Bring it in here. <laughs> there you go. Oh, 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 okay. Easy there. Easy there, Lenny. Don't kill the rabbit. Okay. <laughs> what do you say we have some cake? Yeah. And something healthy. All right. Don't undermine me in front of him. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Another friends. I think we should try for another. It's one way to beat your bullies. Yeah, episode two not as good as episode one, but kill them with kindness. Uh, yeah, well, this one lost me there at the end. Not great, but you don't like Pippin? I don't know what Pippin is. That's, that's probably why you didn't like it. Just didn't understand the reference. I yeah. over your head. Yeah, it was the Pippin reference that really killed it I for me. I didn't get it either, so. Well, I just wasn't as, it just wasn't as funny yeah. and it was a little bit more over the top. Second episodes are usually weaker. You gotta yeah. save the, the good stuff for the final episodes. Yeah, the, the first. And the last. And the, the, the middle, middle. mid-season. Right. Yeah. So like, episode four and five and seven. You're gonna be great. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. All right, so what do you think of Ted so far? First episode was... Great. Lights out. Yeah. Second episode. Meh. Yeah. But we'll see what the third and fourth episode bring. Yeah. Colonoscopies. Scary business. Interesting subject matter, right? Yeah. Like, just really weird. I'm more traumatized about the hair on the tip, though. That's 
It's kind of... Hmm? Doctor mentioned the hair on... The taint? Is it the it's taint? The taint? I thought he was talking about... Let's see what he's working with. The tip of the what? I thought he was talking about his junk. His dick? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I thought he said the hair on the taint. Why would he look at his dick? Is it taint it or upside tip? down? I don't know. The, the... I mean, you're pulling the pants down regardless, and then you... Yeah, but you're on your stomach oh. for a colonoscopy. He's got hair on his taint? I guess that's... Is that weird, too? Not as weird as hair on the tip. That's true. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not as weirded out if it was just a taint. Yeah, I know. I, that's why when they said it, I was like, okay, is that that weird? Hair on the tip is weird. Yeah. Well, Whatever. I mean, I can look past it. He served, served in Vietnam, and he's a hero. Yeah. Saved his platoon. Jerked off a dog. That was yeah. an interesting choice, too. Not anybody could do that. Takes... No. That's like metal earning, kind of. Mm, sure. In my eyes, anyways. Okay, well, let us know what you think of Ted. Yeah, are you enjoying Ted, or have you binged it all? And you're excited to not spoil it for us and tell us it's awesome. Mm. Right? Yeah. Hopefully it's better than episode two, right? Yeah, it's got to have a lull. Yeah. What was your favorite moment? From the first two episodes of Ted. For sure. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out with us. Come back next week for two more episodes. Two more. Yeah. And check out our Patreon link down below for more early access to our videos. Full company access to polls. Help us pick a watch next. Link's down there. Check it out. Till next time, have a good one. Bye.